In this video, I'm going to go over the purpose of a live center and when you should use it, and if you do need to use it, how to use it. To give a basic description of live center, all it is is a tapered end just like your chuck which goes in your tailstock. The other end is a conical shape that is supported by bearings. So this spins freely on bearings. It's constrained radially so it cannot move but it can rotate. This just goes in your tailstock and the purpose of a live center is to support an exceptionally long workpiece. You use a live center if you are needing to do operations a fairly large distance away from your jaws. This is needed because otherwise there's a lot of flex. If your spindle is fairly small, there's a lot of flex in the jaw and spindle itself. Also, there's flex in your workpiece if it is fairly thin compared to how long it is. So if you're working way over here, you're putting a lot of force into it. The piece itself is flexing as well as your spindle. This causes a lot of chatter and your surface finish will be horrible and you will not be able to control it correctly. To use the life center, you will first need to secure your workpiece and bore a hole at the end of it in the direct center. You could use this with a center drill or just a normal drill bit. The next step is you will need to install your life center just like you would a normal chuck. You'll need to slide it the end of the cone here should go directly in the hole you just created. I'm just going to lightly put it in there and then secure the tailstock. Once the tailstock is secure, I'm going to tighten it down, put a little pressure on it, and then I'm going to rotate by hand and make sure everything is rotating freely and there is no play in it. So at this point, it is secured in the jaws, and it's also secured at this end via the live center. This cannot move, so this is completely constrained. Once you have everything secured, you can start your normal operation. This clearance right here allows you to get the tool bit in and start at the very end and move all the way in. I want to show the lathe running with the live center secured to the end. This video covered under what conditions you should use a life center and how to use the life center. If this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more do-it-yourself and how-to videos.